This is module three, lesson 10 on the back. Number three, count by eight. Then match each multiplication problem with its value. So I already have an eight written there. I know eight plus eight more is 16. To find the next number, I'm going to add eight more to 16. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 plus eight more will give me the next multiple. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Thirty-two plus eight more will give me the next multiple. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Forty plus eight more gives me forty-eight. Forty-eight plus eight more. Forty-eight, forty-nine. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 56 plus 8 more. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. 64 plus 8 more. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. And 72 plus 8 more. 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Those are our multiples of 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. I can use these multiples to help me solve the problems below. I have 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 4 8, 5 8, 6 8, 7 8, 8 8, 9 8, and 10 8. So 8 times 9, I'm looking at my ninth 8 equals 72. 8 times 5, that's 5 eighths. 8 times 5, looking at my count by, equals 40. 8 times 8 is 8 eighths, that is 64. 8 times 6 is 6 eighths. Looking at my count by, it gives me 48. 8 times 7 is 7 eighths. Looking at my count by, gives me 56. Number 4, divide. I'm going to use my count by again to help me divide. I am dividing all these by 8 so I can look at 16 in my count by and I see the number 2 is corresponding. So 16 divided by 8 is 2. Next I have 40 divided by 8. I look at 40 in my count by underneath is 5. 40 divided by 8 is 5. 32 divided by 8 I look at my count by I have to count by eights four times to get to 32. 48 divided by eight, looking at my count by, I have to count by eight six times to get to 48. 56 divided by eight, I have to count seven times by eight to get to 56. 72 divided by eight, I have to count nine times to get to 72 when I'm counting by eight. 